okay a train is moving due east and a car is moving due north both with the same speed 30 km per hour what is the observed speed and direction of motion of car to the passenger in the train it means you have to calculate relative velocity of car with respect to train because whatever is the direction of the relative velocity of the car with respect to train that will be the direction observed by the passenger inside the train so now see here in this you have taken these directions this is north south east and west this is the velocity of train velocity of car to this side now you have to get veloc relative velocity of car with respect to train so you have to bring the train at rest so you superimpose another vector here that is minus vt get the resultant velocity of these two angle between them is 90 degrees so easily you can get that resultant velocity any velocity of car with respect to train you will be getting its magnitude you will be getting under root of 30 square plus 30 square because this is also 30 this is also 30 so that will be here 30 root 2 km per hour so this is the velocity of car with respect to train just i have applied here vector addition process this angle was 90 degree now you have to calculate this angle also that is suppose theta So now you can calculate here tan theta is equal to vc upon v this is your vt upon vc that is your 30 divided by 30 so equal to 1 so the theta is equal to 45 degree it means the passenger inside the train will observe car is going to this side which is making an angle of 45 degree with the north direction it means we can say passenger is observing the train is moving in the west north direction now see here another question the force two forces whose magnitudes are in the ratio of 3 is to 5 act at an angle of 60 degree and have resultant equal to 35 newton find the magnitude of the forces very simple question based on the parallelogram law of vector addition see here simply in this one you have take the two forces you can write here f1 is equal to 3x and f2 is equal to 5x now you know f is equal to under root of f1 square plus f2 square plus twice of f1 f2 cos 60 that is cos theta theta is given to a 60 degree we can put all the values this is 35 is equal to because 35 given to resultant force it is a 3x that is a 9x square plus 5x square plus twice of 3x into 5x into 1 by 2 when you solve this equation you will be getting x is equal to 5 now if you are getting x is equal to 5 you can get value of values of f1 and f2 so f1 you will be getting 3 into 5 that is 15 newton and f2 is equal to you will be getting 25 newton so this is just an application of parallelogram law of vector addition